We move Thursday night football. We have an absolute stinker. The Jacksonville, <laughs> the Jacksonville Jaguars travel to the Cincinnati Bengals. And Jaguars fans, if you like a bit of torture, stay up and watch it because you're going to lose this game. I've put 28-17 Bengals. Very, I was very kind to Jaguars because they're big in the UK um, and nowhere else. They're Are they even, big in the UK? They're, they're one. They're the second biggest behind Dolphins. But you're, I'm trying to make them feel good about themselves. So they've got nothing not. else. Is it, no, it's because they've got such little support in the state. They keep having home games over here. Yeah. Uh, one of the home that games I'm lucky enough to attend. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell. But this, I stayed up for last Thursday night football because it was my team. If a neutral stays up for this, they need shooting because there is nothing <laughs> worthwhile about staying up to watch this. You know, the I, mean, AFC I, am, off on, I am off on Friday, so you know, I, I might no, no. get, no, get an get early night. Rest. Yeah, get, you deserve an early <laughs> night. There's no reason. I, I won't even watch the highlights, to be honest. And whoever gets this game has got to review it next week. I I feel sorry for him. And I'm sure it's going to be... I'll, give it, I'll give it a big guy. If yeah, it's all of us. going back. Oh, yeah, yeah, he could be back. But, yeah. I mean, is there a way that Jake would actually win this game? No. Brad, you go first. I, no. Um, I think, I mean, Angles put on a good show against the Steelers. Um, and, yeah, who would have thought the Bengals are going to win two games in a row? I mean, Joe, Joe Burrow is going to... He's going to show what Trevor show Trevor Lawrence how to do it at quarterback. Um, I've got the Bengals to win this one by two possessions, 28-14, uh, light work. Yeah, I think all around we've all agreed that it's going to be a two-possession win for the Cincinnati Bengals. I've gone exactly the same with Jamie, and that's before even seeing his score of 28-17. I think, again, perhaps I'm just being too generous to Jacksonville or hoping that James Robertson will actually get given the ball that would be nice for the fantasy, especially in this huge derby matchup on fantasy football. But that, I'm, I'm not bothered if I lose that, honest. Uh, <laughs> and Jack's also gone for a Bengals to win 26-10. I think we just all agree that although oh no, Jacksonville, oh, one minute they look like they, they can do all right with the passing game to Marvin Jones, for example. They then go and overdo it and then they just give the defence turnovers galore. And I think the Bengals, if they won at one at Hinesville that comfortably, there's no reason why they can't beat Jaguars at home that comfortably as well. So, yeah, I think a clean sweep for the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, if the Bengals want to be serious about competing in the NFL, they've got to beat useless teams like the Jaguars. But, so, if they mm. don't, they're yeah. the classic. I mean, Bengals. the slip-up against the Bears was bad enough, but I think that they bounced back well. Um, and they've, just, they've got to find that consistency now. 